What is good guys? It is Dennis back with another YouTube video and today I put maybe the best of the best. It's definitely not my opinion, I don't think, but I put the top teams in every league into one tournament, 24 teams onto a group stage and then if you progress onto that group stage then it goes to knockouts and then all the way to the final we will be looking at the final c who are the two top teams and they go head to head with each other and battle out to take this awesome tournament trophy man if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop that like subscribe uh, and Let's get straight on to it. All right, guys, let's go see the groups. So group A, we have Man City, FC Natas, Arsenal, West Ham, AFC Richmond, Feyenoord, Bologna, <laughs> Bologna, <laughs> O-N. Sorry, I can't, I can't even pronounce Bologna. Sorry. O-L, R-C, Celta, Leeds United, AX, Manchester United, Al Etihad, Southampton, and SL Benfica. Uh, each group, the top four team progresses through onto the knockout stages. Group C, we have Group C. We have Porto, Villarreal, Valencia, Leicester, RB Leipzig, Flamingo, Liverpool, and Gladbach. Group D, we have FC Barcelona, PSV, Chelsea, Besiktas, Roma, Ju Juve, Kloberg, and River Plate. Group E, we have Crystal Palace, Atletico, Madrid, Frankfurt, Lantium. I don't know if this is like an actual team or not. It might just be the licensing. Uh, Gallard, say, botched that badly. Real Madrid, Bergmill, Calcio, and Bradford. Group F, we have Sevilla, FC, Spurs, Borussia Dortmund, OGC, Nice, Zagreb, Al Halal, Valdoid. Aston Villa. Group G, we have Trapzon Sport, FC Bayern, Real Sociedad, Milan, Sporting, Athletic Club, Wolves, and the MLS All-Star. In Group H, the final group, we have Newcastle United, Real Betis, Torino, Everton, State Rene, Fulham, Fenerbahce, and in. All right, guys, I simmed. I don't know how many games I've simmed, man, but I've simmed. A lot of games so let's look at all the groups and how they did so group a man city tops the group with seven and oh wow 17 goals for five goals allowed definitely a team to watch this tournament arsenal comes in second place three three and one with 12 points Feyenoord three two and two 11 points interesting and afc richmond surprisingly Progresses on to the group with just a one point difference from West Ham and a two point difference from FC Nate as well. That is a massive achievement for AFC Rich because I thought they would finish below the group. Right? That's enough of group A. Let's look at group B. Another surprising team, El Itehad. 5-1-1 one one with 16 points, topping their group with the likes of Manchester United, Ajax, Olympic Lyonnais, Leeds, all these good teams. Manchester United comes second with 14 points, just two points differential with El Etihad. Ajax with a one-point differential coming in third place, and Leeds United with just a one-point differential progressing to onto the round one stage let's look at group c and from first to fourth is literally like a three point gap leicester city comes first with 14 points Villarreal comes second with 13 points rb leipzig comes third with 11 points and porto comes fourth with 10 points liverpool with a massive heartbreak didn't get into the round one spot. That is definitely a place that any Liverpool fan does not want to be in. 
Let's look at Group D. We've got FC Barcelona, 7-0, just like the likes of Man City. Uh, undefeated in the group, Juve comes second with 16 points. Roma comes third with 14 points. And Chelsea comes fourth with 10 points. Let's go to Group E. Frankfurt comes first, 6-1, undefeated in the group with 19 points. Real Madrid comes second with 18 points, just a one point differential with Frankfurt. Latium, I don't know who, who this team is, but probably they're decent enough to get promoted into the round one, getting third with 10 points, tying with Atletico Madrid, but Latium with the different goal differential. So making Latium third, Atletico Madrid fourth, and Briole Calcio just a one point gap from getting promoted to round one. That's unlucky from them. Group F, we have Sevilla. Ooh, another undefeated team, 7-0. Spurs second with 14 points. Aston Villa third with 13 points. And Dortmund with fourth, 11 points. Group G, we have Sporting with 19 points. Undefeated, top of their group. Milan, second with 13 points. Bayern, surprisingly, did not get first in this group with 11 points. Wolves, 10 points, fourth. It's a good showing. And I'm pretty sure it's the last group. Uh, group H, Fenerbahce, interesting. 5-2 and two this group with 15 points. Newcastle United, second with 13 points. Real Betis with the third place and 12 points. Inter, surprisingly, did not get first in this group with coming in at fourth with 11 points. Now, uh, on to the round one stage. So round one, we have Fern Benji versus Ajax, Manchester United versus Wolves, al Hitad versus FC Bayern, Villarreal versus Atletico de Madrid, Sevilla versus Roma, Milan versus Inter, Sporting versus Real Betis, Spurs versus Leeds United, Frankfurt versus Feyenoord, Juve versus Dortmund, Leicester City versus Villa, Arsenal versus Chelsea, City versus Latium, Newcastle versus Richmond, FC Barcelona versus Leipzig, and Real Madrid versus Porto. All right, guys, welcome to the round of 16, man. Let's look at the scores from round one and see who progresses from round one to the round of 16. Ajax with the 3-1-W, Wolves with the 3-1-W, Bayern with the 3-1-W, and let's go... Madrid with the 3-2 W. Roma with the 2-0 win. Milan with the 2-0 win. Sporting with the 2-1 win. And Spurs with the 2-0 win. Frankfurt with the 4-1 win. Juve with the 2-1 win over Dortmund. Big game. Leicester with a 3-2 win over Villa. Arsenal with a 2-1 win over Chelsea. City versus Latium, 3-1 win for City. Richmond with a 3-0 win against Newcastle United. Barcelona with a 4-0 win against Leipzig. Real Madrid with a 2-1 win against FC Porto. Honestly, man, looking at all these teams, the massive underdog, I would say, is AFC Richmond. I am rooting for them all the way into the final, but... If it's my opinion that I think it's going to win, it's either going to be a Bayern slash Man City final if they don't face each other before the final. This, this is going to be my opinions going on to the round of 16. Speaking of the round of 16, let's go see the fixtures for the round of 16. So, game number one, Ajax versus Wolves. Game number two, Bayern versus Letico de Madrid. Game number three, Roma versus Milan. Game number four, Sporting versus Spurs. Game number five, Frankfurt versus Juve. Game number six, Leicester City versus Arsenal. Game number seven, City versus Richmond. And game number eight, a El Clasico, Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Hopefully Richmond can pull this off, but it's looking very unlikely against Manchester City. All right, guys, let's look at the round of 16 wins. Wolves, 2-1 win over Ajax. Bayern, 2-1 win over Madrid. Atletico Madrid, Milan 4-1 win over Roma, Spurs with a 2-0 win over Sporting, 
U of A with a 4-1 win over Frankfurt, Leicester City a 4-2 win over Arsenal, and Manchester City with a 3-1 win over AFC Richmond, and the El Clasico Real Madrid comes on tap with a 2-1 win over FC Barcelona. I remember simming the game and FC Barcelona Lewandowski scored a 78 minute disallowed goal so who knows what could have happened if that goal standed maybe FC Barcelona could have won that game but for this career mode save Real Madrid won 2-1 over FC Barcelona. Let's see what the fixtures are quarterfinals of the tournament we have Wolves versus FC Bayern Milan versus Spurs U of A versus Leicester City and Manchester City versus Real Madrid. This should be a very good game. Wolves comes on top against FC Bayern. 5-4 in penalties. Davies and Musala misses for FC Bayern. And Adama scores to keep it away. Let's see who are the scorers. We got Mateus and Muller. That's unlucky from Bayern, man. I thought they were going through the finals for sure. Spurs with a 4-3 win in a 7-goal thriller game. What a game, man. Theo opening the score with in the 23rd minute. Richarlison with the 43rd minute. And it just was like ping-pong, ping-pong until Perisic has had enough and scored in the 94th minute to gain Spurs the lead to win against Milan. What a game, man. And they do, they pull through with a 3-1 win over Leicester City. Leicester City opening the score account with Barnes, 31st minute, Kostic, 58, Rugani, 93rd, and Rebut just to end the game in the 113th minute with a goal. Man City versus Real Madrid. This should be an action-packed game. Let's see what the score is. Real Madrid comes on top with the 2-1 win. Nothing happened in the first half. Then Benzema in the 57th minute opens the scoring account for Real Madrid. And Benzema again in the 83rd minute. And Holland with one goal. But unfortunately that is not enough to beat Real Madrid. Are through on the semifinals of the tournament. Let's see who are the semifinalists. Well, we know who are the semifinalists. But who are they playing against each other guys these semifinals are now here wolves versus spurs as game number one and game number two is uva versus real madrid let me know in the comments if you think some teams should not be on here even though wolves is an underdog team i did not expect them to make it this far neither spurs as well and maybe not uva as well because there's bayern man city all these other teams that got knocked out in the group stage, but on we go, man. Let's see who are the semifinalists gonna be progressing through onto the final. Wolves versus Spurs, man. A underdog game for sure. Let's see who progresses on into the finals. And it's Wolves with a 3-0. Diego Costa opening his scoring account in both the 21st and the 40th minute in just one half, and Adama putting the scoreline away in the 77th minute. What a game from Wolves, man. Unlucky to Spurs, but congratulating them to making it this far onto the tournament. Now the game we have all been waiting for, guys. Juventus versus Real Madrid. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win. I have no clue. This team is studded pack with a lot of talented players. Let's see who is going to take the W for today. And it is Juventus, wow. Kostic in the first half, 42nd minute, scores. And Kostic again in the 86th minute scores. Just enough to ease past Real Madrid, even though Modric with his 58 minute goal wasn't enough to beat Juventus on this day. All right, guys, the moment we have all been waiting for, man. From 64 teams, down to two final teams. It is Wolves versus Juventus. The final two teams, man. I am excited, man. Um, so, Wolves, I'm going to play for them for 45 minutes. And then Juve, I'm going to play for them for the next half in 45 minutes. 
so I can get just an equal amount of fairing time uh, just to see which team is the better team overall. Obviously, I'm going to be playing on Ultimate, so we will see what the situation is like. But since Wolves is the home team, I get to change their formation. Gudez is definitely way better than Costa. Let's put him in. Who else we have here? I think the team is looking good. Oh, we got an injured player. Hoden, 78 rated. It's unlucky. But I think the team is looking good. Maybe we can swap some Mado for Nori. Just for the little pace difference. But other than that, I think it is go time. Alright guys, Wolves versus Juventus. The Forest Park Stadium. And look at that trophy, man. That is looks like a coin or like a mirror, man. But wow. Each, both of these teams. Look, just look, look at this bracket, man. From the round of 16 all the way to the final, man. Man City, FC Barcelona, Real Madrid. All these other special teams, man. But now it's down to these two. Juve versus Wolves, man. Good luck to each team. Even though I'm going to be playing for each team. Like I said, I'm going to be playing for Wolves for the first 45. And then I'm going to be playing for Juve in the next half. So, should be fun. Sit back and relax. You know, have some popcorn. Enjoy this fun FIFA moment. Yeah. The ball first. Let's get it. Okay. On the attack here. Oh, easy. Oh, second minute in, and Chesney has to make a big save, man. Unlucky for Matthias, though. It's a nice shot, but he's got his fingertips on it. See him back. Nice ball in. Oh, the cross. Oh, no one's there, unfortunately. He's got that. Good passing play from the back, man. Oh, I could have slipped Adama through. But I see this man through. And I see him through. Ah, they're playing part of the bus. Can't really break this down. It's like, oh, is this long? No, I can't. So he's going to tackle in. Nice. Subbing in Costa because... If I remember correctly, he scored like two goals last game. And we kind of need that right now. And what a tackle. Oh my goodness. Still has it. Press that. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, the shot. Nice save. What a save. First half, man. 0-0 zero, zero at halftime. I will be controlling Juventus second half, but... So far, Wolves is on Juventus for sure, but let's see if second half changes that. All right, guys, Juve, second half. Let's get it. Okay, we got to get that. Oh, that is lucky from us, man. Jeez. Okay. Di Maria, a wide. Have that. Oh, what a goal. Milk. I literally just subbed you in, man, and you're scoring a banger like that. Wow. The touch and the finish is nice. See, Di Maria out wide, cuts inside, sees Milk right open, and then what a goal, man. Is that like top right or what? A little bit, yeah, wow. On we go, Len. There we go. Cut. Ah, oh, it's my fault, dude. Try to cut inside. Hold up play. Send him through. Milk. It's milk. Milk. Oh, my goal, man. Milk. Sub them on. Two goals. 
What a goal, man. Yeah, no keeper is saving that shot. That's a power shot right there, man. Milk with the pass. Oh, jeez. That could be a card from Keen, man. Jeez. Good tackle, man. Oh. Oh, no. Jeez, our keeper is insane. He's just a demon. You can't stop him. See if we can get one more. Yes, we can, man. 3-0. Pardes. Lily just subbed him on. Our two substitutes, Pardes and Milk, getting our goal this game, man. Jeez. That is funny, man. Juve are... What, what can you say? Are Club World Cup winners? Because... Wow, what a story, man. <sighs> what a story from Wolves, dude, because they're really the underdogs in this tournament, and they got an all the way through the final, but unfortunately, conceding three goals in the second half is definitely something that needs to be talked about from the Wolves' side perspective. But other than that, man, Wolves did a, such a good job this whole tournament, defeating top high tier teams that I forgot about but definitely defeated some teams that they were the underdog in and they somehow managed to get a winning result out of that takes pride from Wolves so we should congratulate Wolves as well from being the underdog to getting second place man congrats out of 64 teams they placed second but Juve are our winners of this whole tournament, man. Congrats to them. And wow. The trophy celebrations are lit, man. They're lit. <laughs> so. Look at Bonucci, man. Holding that thing. Bonucci, Milk, Bremer, Keen, Di Maria. What a team, man. Chesney did good uh, first half. He definitely made some saves that I thought was amazing. Because I remember I shot that one shot with the Wolves player. Chesney made that fingertip save. I'm like, wow. So. Juve, tournament champions. Congrats to you. got my milk. And I'm guessing player of the match because the two goals and one assist. Nice. Costage with one assist as well. And Paradez just coming off the bench with one goal. What a game from these three guys, man. All right, we'll see the top goal scorers we have. Lewandowski, 14 and 9 matches. Okay. Fonin, 11 and 10. Benzema, 9 and 11. Tadic, 9 and 9. Costage from Juventus, the winning team, 8 and 12. That's nice. All right, let's see the top assisters of the team. Kosic again, 6 and 12. Tied with Pedri, 6 and 9. Justin from Leicester City, 5 and 10. Di Maria from Juve, the winning team, 4 and 6. And Gudeguan and a bunch of other players got 4 assists. Congrats to them. Let's see the top clean sheet leader. We have Adon Chesney. Trap, Tercek, and Sa as the clean sheet winners, goalies wise. Yellow cards, Lotelli from Juve, 4 and 12. Red cards, Kane. What? But yeah, guys, those are the top goal scorers, assisters, and the clean sheet leaders, man. Uh, Lewandowski, 14 and 9, is very impressive, though, for him. Let's see, the player of the tournament is Tadic. That is interesting. Ajax says Tadic, our player of the tournament. But congrats to Wolves, man. Honestly, a nice team, decent team. I did not expect them to be in the final, but here they were, man. But yeah, guys, if you guys like this contact that I do, uh, just create a tournament and make all the best team play each other again. Make sure to drop that 
subscribe button and the like and make sure to comment what I should do next because um I respond to every comment and as long as it's not a a what like a, a, a dumb comment I'll respond to it man uh, I appreciate every each and every one of you guys that subscribe to my channel you guys are all goats thank you for 2k subscribers like always but yeah guys i will see you when i see you in my next video peace out